Shalom, 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 my family. Welcome, welcome, welcome back to Harvest Men. I want to reach out and say thank you for everyone that's hanging in there with me and believing that Yah is walking with this ministry. Thank you, family. And may he bless you abundantly. I want to thank all the new subscribers, all the new helpers and leaders who have joined in with us to be one. Blessings go out to you and your family and loved ones. I want to thank um, all the old subscribers who are hanging in there with us, including the new ones that um, maybe I've been hearing a lot about them. These videos are just popping up at random in their feed. Thank you for returning and listening. I want to thank all those that have donated and sent offerings and everything. Praise Yah for you and that he bless you abundantly. So family, family, this clearly has been battles going on. But you know who wins, don't you? Yes, our father, Abba, Yah, Yahuwah. He's the greatest and he's the only one. He is the winner. He has the trophy. Yes, he has the medal. The battle is already won. No one can beat him. He is the creator. He is our creator. Let's begin, because um, I do have some messages from the, um, the middle, sort of like of November, toward the end of November too, all the way through December. And it's for all of us. And please... Um, pay attention, and if you need to, you know, listen to this again, listen and please share it. So there's some things in here for everyone. Most heavenly gracious Yahuwah, the most high Abba Father, we thank you. We come in as humble as we know how, as your children, your chosen ones. We are thanking you for your word, that your word does not go out void, and we continually thanking you for leading and guiding us on this tedious journey. We thank you, Father. We know that the enemy tries to come in like a whirlwind, and he's going around lurking, seeking whom he may devour. But, Father, we thank you for the power over that enemy. We thank you that you set things in order. We thank you, Father, for blessing us and keeping us. And as your word moves across the Ruach just allow it to land on good, solid grounds. And everyone stay focused on his word. I pray that everyone walk close to you and that you pull the ones back that has fallen away because many have callings on their lives, Father. We love you and we honor you. We glorify who you are in this day and time. Many may not know you, but they are getting ready to know you. As time moves on, things get a little bit more closer. They're going to see all truth. We thank you, Father. No one can stop you. We glorify your name. We praise you in your precious holy name. So be it. So family, I want to say, I want to start out by, if you have any issues with this word and with the scriptures that I'm going to put behind the word and in the description box, that you please take it to him in prayer. I say this all the time. Take it to him in prayer. Get in your quiet space and pray for clarification, confirmation, whatever you may need. Ask him. He has told me this many times to tell you guys to reach out to him for answers. Because with prophets, all prophets don't get everything. They get bits and pieces. Part by part. And even if he give you a little bit today, you may not get the other part of it till later. If you see darkness in, in a situation, you may not get the lightness until later on down the road. So let's all be mindful as prophecy goes forth. If you hadn't gotten the entire picture of it, because I don't get it all at one time, I get it in bits and pieces. And then you have to put the puzzle together, okay? All right, family, we're going to start out. These You are y'all's jewels. We're going to start with the month of November, toward the end of November. Y'all says this. 
It's time for my children to come home. Nothing shall stop me, no one. And then he, he, he proceeds to say, the angels will provide us by tribes. Not provide, but divide us by tribes. So when we get where we are going, we're going to be divided up into tribes, into your tribe, whatever tribe. And don't ask me. The angels will do all of this, okay? Um, then he proceeds to say, supplies needed will be sent. He said, many blessings are coming. He said, y'all will re restore much. And then he said, many women, women will come when you get there to assist y'all's chosen. And then he said, our men, just remember that our men are our towers. So respect those in authority. He said, Sister Gina is head, but I'm placing my men with her. I love my children, so prepare a trip of a lifetime. He said, I send my youth men for training. Many are 144. They come later. This training will be in the physical. And then he said, y'all's powers are strong. He said, watch my 144. He said, we will get all we need from the villages of our women. They will bring. They are awakened, awakening and happen to work for y'all. And then he said, many back home will come to help. I prepare clothing and food and healthy drinks for our bodies. I want to stop right there because not long ago he told me that the brown stuff that we drink every morning, that they are putting stuff in it and that it's not healthy. So family, I want to share that with you. And if you want to find some alternative um, things to drink in the morning, please do so. Then he continued to say, um, let's see. He continued to say, let's see, what did I leave off? My picture was going out. He said, the food and healthy drinks for our bodies. Okay, he said, okay, I found what I left off. He said, I prepare clothing, food, and healthy drinks for our body. And then he said, it's too much going on inside of us and our bodies for tainted foods sold in Babylon. And then he said, crowns. Are for our leaders only so I'm just reaching out to all our leaders because it's not only the ones that are in our in our groups they're leaders everywhere and um, they're gonna be rewarded with some crowns you know some leaders have fallen off already um, and some are coming in I'm just saying let us all walk and to the best of our ability make sure we you know know his word know his his covenants, his commandments, and his laws, and how he wants us to conduct ourselves. And I want to say, please stay away from the power struggles and structured mind, because I know there are a lot of men that are out there like that, women too. They have this power structure mind that they want to be, you know, a strong tower at the top of whatever. But only y'all can designate those individuals, and still, we can't walk around with, with pride. We can't walk around how Babylon has really taught us some things that they've taught us that's truly incorrect. He said that word was tainted and it was, and he told me if I didn't share that with, with the people that I would be held responsible. He said the people who printed the book will not be held accountable, but it's the people who changed the wording. And then he, he went on to say that the witches need to repent now or return back to their original place. And he said the word hell. He says, so you must repent um, and stay in your place or stay in your place of eternity. Y'all said no more back and forth. People, the evil minded folks, please stop vacillating back and forth. Get in place, repent, stay with him. If not, you know where eternity is for you. And then he said that his high ranking angels are already here. He said, this will be at a time that there will be a time of joy and the joy is coming. He said, as we leave, we're going to be joyful. He said, y'all has waited a long time for people. So as we walk, 
and you know you have made it in, there's going to be some joy. It's going to be some joy among, um, among all of us, but especially those that maybe slide in at the last moment. Then he began to say, we are a strong and mighty people. He said, soon to see, I will raise up a nation of standards and I rule with iron. And he said, soon. So if you think you're coming and you're going to try to go by your rules and your regulations, that's not going to be so. You may, may be turned around. Yah knows the heart. He knows what you think. He knows every hair on your head. And you will not be gone if you're going to keep that strong, structured mind and you want to be what you want to be, do what you want to do, say, and it's time now to start putting those um, bad cultures to the side, drop them down on the floor and put your foot on it and stand on it. You have the power to do that. It's time to do it now. And then he said, NYC will be affected. He said, somehow the bridges and tunnels are closing. He said, so get out. He said, I fix things for those I love. He said, move out. And then here not long ago, he said, January is a month to stay packed. We will walk on some cold days. He said, many won't care. Matthew 24 um, gives witness to that. And then um, he says, blessings are coming. He said, to my chosen ones, great gifts. He said, many will perish for unbelief. And then again, he said, NY, see, time ain't long. I protect my own. My father told me here recently, he said, um, a blackout is soon. He said, before we walk. So family, make sure you prepare for that. He said, they're trying to stop us all over the globe, but can't. And then again, y'all said, move in closer. I will provide your needs. He said, ask y'all anything that you have need of or you want confirmation, go to him. Take your time. Take some time out. If you put time into your job, into schools, into your family, take time for y'all. Get up early in the morning. Let him be first. Set your clock, set it for seven, set it for six, set it for five, set it for four. Get up early in the morning and talk to him. Spend a little time with him and he will talk to you. He said, we walk in the power. We walk in power. You have power. I told you before and I share with people all the time. You have power in your mouth. Words have the life, have the power of life and death. Use your mouth. And then he said, the enemy, this was like the first week of December. He said, the enemy is everywhere lurking, sinking whom he may devour. He said, don't fall into his hands. Stay in my word. I cover thee. And then he said, some leave by the exodus as we're leaving. He said, some leaving by the exodus and some, um, some for good. And when he says that, he's saying many prayers are on the altar to come home. He said, I bring them back to their land as written. So some of those people that have been praying to go home, he said, he's going to take them. And he said, um, because of the prayers that's on the altar that they have prayed for a long time, they want to just go home and they don't want to go to the land. He said, I come soon. And then later, um, a little bit in December, I'm not sure what week that was, but he said reparations. He said on the way, and it is still set. He said, no one can stop me. He said, be prepared for some real cold days. He said, they are doing it. So back to that reparations. I need whomever is listening. Um, and you may, it may be your first or second time. Go back and look at some of my videos that I spoke about the reparations and what we are to do with it um, when we get it. And he said to do it, you know, fast. Don't just sit and hold it for a long time. He said, move fast on that. Um, he said, many will cry at what's going to come. He said, these end times, people are going to cry. It's going to get worse than that. They're going to, hearts going to fail them for fear too. And then as we move on, he said, um, mountains are going to fall. It's almost time. He said, more leaders will fall away. He said, Netanyahu was one of the first, one of the first. Some of these wicked think that they can just stand forever and ever, but not. it's not so. 
Um, he said the churches are corrupt. And I've been saying this for a few years now about how he told me to come out because it was corrupt. Family, or those who may have shared this video with other people and they are still in the church, please, people that are in the church, please come out. There are spiritual curses set inside of those churches. I know because it happened to me. And it's difficult when you are cursed going under their roofs, when you go under the doorway and go inside and sit down, it's in the atmosphere. Okay? So do what you can to get your family and your loved ones out to church. And you may, I don't, we don't have the time that we had before where you could just little bit by little bit. It's just time to just work on it now. Like they, maybe they just listen to this. Um, and if you go back and listen to some of my videos, I've shared some things with people about being in the church and how, when I came out, I, I came out, I felt shackles falling off my, off my, my hands. And I was, had been bounded down with chains where I couldn't come out. And I was told that, that I was being cursed and I didn't believe it. I was a hard head. I was one of those stiff neck individuals. But he eventually got me out after the third round of him telling me to come out of church. So and then he said, judgment is there on the church. He said, the churches are corrupt and judgment is for and on them. He said, come out. So if you don't want to be in the midst of the judgment on the churches, please, please come out. So family, let's move on. Let's see. I think so y'all as you coming out the churches he is looking and he's waiting to see and then he's saying just turn to him he said I'm coming to fix things those left will have time to get to get it right and we know what they're going to have to go through in order to get it right you will have to lose your life to get it right so i'm just asking all to repent now today not tomorrow not tonight right now and then he said we move toward our destiny soon he said tell them time time is up things will happen soon i move my people be ready your hearts minds and soul he said get out of harm's way when i tell you to leave and we leave soon we will not be involved in satan's ways he said, real battles is ahead. And then he said, the 144 comes. He said, recently, um, you will, recently, you know, a lot of us have been being tested. We're being tested for the new land. He's not taking anybody in the new land and putting them in positions to run things if they haven't been tested here. So get it right, family. He said, stay strong. Some already been tested and they fail the test. He says, don't allow the enemy to step in, walk close to Yah. He said, I love my people, my chosen. I take no devils or wicked with me. They are everywhere. And I mean everywhere. They're in your groups. There are some of your leaders. They think they are slick and they won't be revealed, but they will be and they are being revealed. But you do nothing unless you go talk to y'all about it. Because sometimes y'all want to handle the situation. He said, some not totally aware. So that's what he's saying. A lot of people don't have a discernment of spirit and they're not totally aware. So we have to pray for him to reveal it to you. He said, he is the wheats and the tares, testing times. So that's what you see going on when you see people falling away. Sometimes it's the wheat and the tares. And the other thing is that people are being tested. And they are not passing the test and they're falling away like the word tells us. He said he's exposing groups and teachers and leaders and rebels. He said some will fall by the wayside. If not, if not, he's saying, walk with me. Anoint yourself, anoint your home um, and stay anointed. Try and remember to do that every day. You know, if you forget it, Get you a little bottle, keep it in the car, keep it in your in, in your handbag, keep it where you can reach it. You never know when you might need it. And when I tell you it stops them, it stops them, stop them in their track. His words stop them in their track. 
two or more people praying stop them in, in the track. I mean, that's more powerful where you can pray and y'all can move. But sometimes, you know, you you have to pray. Some some of those wickedness come only comes out, like Isaiah 58 says, only comes out through fasting and prayer. It breaks the yoke. He said, and I raise up a standard again for my people. Now, that's the second or third time he's told me that he's going to raise. He's not playing no more. You know, he's not playing. The look that I got from this angel at the airport when I dropped something on the, on the ground and I was reaching for it while I was on the escalator was like, no, why did you do that? This is no nonsense. Like he really stared at me very hard. You know better than that. So I'm telling you, you know, give him respect. Give him respect. Y'all says, I bring glad tidings to my anointed. The anointed ones, you already know. He's already shown you bits and pieces. The puzzle is being put together. He said this holiday, he said holiday, he didn't say which one. He said holiday season cries out, will be loud, ringing for miles. He said, repent and walk in my, in my words. Walk as one, Israel, as one. He said, I settle truth when I come. Much truth. It's been a lot of this untruthful things being taught to us and then he said <sighs> he said the truth has been tampered with on both sides of men and women i clarify things when um when changed and hidden that's been changed and hidden from my people so what he's saying there are some things that's been taught to us as men and women that's not true he's going to come and bring the truth to his men and to his women. So he's revealed some, some things with me, but we'll talk about that for another time. This is not the, not the time to talk about that. We'll do that another time. And then he said, the witches come to tear you down. He said, but they won't and can't, and you may get weary, but keep going, keep going, keep going. I've been on this race for many, many years. I have fought with them for many, many years. So I know the race. You can't give up. You can't let them use your word. Use a lot of books in Psalms 59, Psalm 70, Psalm 71, 121. I can go on and on. Psalms 90, Psalms 91, Psalms 35. Read, get you two or three of those songs and read them three times a day, every day. You fast and you pray. And that's how you beat them in the spiritual realm. Don't give up. Because that's the, the word tell us what he's going to do. Wear out the saints of the most high. Stay in the word. Don't let him win. It's going to get hard. It's going to get weary. You go in the, your, your prayer room, your prayer closet, and you get on your knees and pray. Because he's bringing all kind of things to overwhelm you back to back to back. But I've already been through that. Many, many years of it. It was back to back to back. And it, they never gave up. And they still are at me. You can't win, witches, if you're out there listening. You're not going to win. Your destination, I just told you what your destination is, is going to result in. Eternity in hell. So are you going to stand up and try and repent and get your life together? Or are you going to play? You can come in and play if you want to, but just know he knows your heart and your mind. He's the creator. He's the creator. And do you think he's going to allow you to come with us? I don't think so. And then he said, I will be a, it will be a joyous time, like going home. He said, we return for our people. So he's talking about right there. Let me read it again. He said, it will be a joyous home return for our people. He said, blessings shall be there. Prepare to move out. And this was toward the end of December. He said, it will be. Um, it will take time to gather all my people across the nations. Now, I've heard a lot of people, but let me tell you, when he did the first exodus, it was one place, Egypt. And yes, he could just go in there and just move his people out at one time. This is the entire earth, four corners. It's going to take a minute for him to get everybody. And he has everybody designated in different places that he's going to be working with. I want to say this. I can't go into detail just yet because he has not released me. So the only thing I'm going to say, the islands look ahead. And I will share with you later when he releases me. I'm going to say this because he wanted me to share this. 
or maybe it was me just saying I need to share this. But anyway, in 2020, right before 2020 happened and all this stuff began, I asked him ahead of time, way ahead of time, when it's getting ready, because he kept telling me he was coming back sooner than what I thought and what people was thinking. I said, well, when things get ready to get started, let me know. And he told me about two or three months before 2020, he said, soon, one word. And I pondered on that word soon for a few months. And I said, well, I still don't understand what he mean by the word soon. So let me just sit back and watch. And when the, when that stuff began in 2020, I said, this is what y'all was talking. So that was him telling me that that was the beginning of the of the seven years. So that this, we are still in the tribulation, the first part of it. And when we leave, that's why he told me he's not going to return for another three and a half years. So we're already in, in the, um, we're toward the, the middle part, going toward the middle part of the um, tribulation. So hold on family. Don't let go of his hand. Don't let the enemy win. Don't give up because things get hard. That's what our testing is about. It's going to be hard. But just know if you stand and wait and keep praying and fasting, he going to make a way out of no way. Don't give up regardless of anybody that's trying to come up against you, regardless of your family saying what, whatever. My whole family, I got issues with them because they have never believed that this day is here, that it was coming. They all thought it was just something that I was just fabricating and just wanted to share and maybe fear, cause fear mongering among my family and my loved ones. That was not so. Y'all has been speaking to me for many years. So family, hold on. Much love. Talk to you later. Stay in his word, walk in his commandments. Much love. I do want to say one thing before we go, before I go off. I want to say please go to Yaz dayofreturn.com look at the website sign up if you need any help and um, please share it with others we're ready we're ready to go we are ready to go we are ready to go much love